I'm going to take a look at the late pick four sequence for Sunday night at Hawthorne Racecourse. It has a $10,000 guaranteed pool, begins in race eight. The first leg, I'm going to fade the morning line chalk number one, who has one two straight and is facing better. I'm going to use three horses, and the three horse is Fox Valley Newport, nine to one. One on January 1st versus straight nine winners, wiring the field from the eight hole at 23 to one. Won't be that big of a price tonight, but now drops in for a tag, so shouldn't be intimidated by the company. Comes right back in sequence and will take a swing at this four-year-old who's camera shy. The four, Fox Valley Falcon is nine to one, seems to be on an every other race better performance schedule. This is the other race and drops in for a tag, willing to use at the morning line price. The five key ingredients, seven to two in the program, team laundered entry, tries hard, but doesn't win very often. Beaten Shock actually bumps up a bit here, but should compete well versus this crew. Needs the right trip and has a pilot to provide one. In race nine, I'm going three deep. The five is Jimmy Duke, 20 to one price shot. Seldom raced eight year old, has issues, and broke stride at this level too bad. Put in a flat line last time. It does have four pictures and 18 starts at Hawthorne. Could get a close up seat and make the most of a ground saving journey at a big number. The six, Brandon Hanover is six to one. Dropped and tried to wire the feeling last, but was out battled late in the mile. Bait sticks and is well worth a swing at the morning line price. The seven, Star Commander N is four to one in the morning line. Get some pulse relief, had the nine hole for three straight starts and raced better in the last race. Closed at 56 and two and looks like a player. Loses baits to number six, but Wolfong can put this veteran into a position to win. In race 10, I'm going to go three deep to one. Frozen Shark, six to one, drops back to a more competitive level and does face a very soft bunch. Smolin needs to use the rail at his advantage and save the one move this four-year-old has to roll by down the lane. The two, Dandy's Lane is five to one, had his best race here in the last start on, on January 1st, came third and didn't get the smoothest of trips. Face is easier, Wolfong sticks, so we'll look for the ups, upswing to continue. The six, Cole did it. Six to one. Comes off a nice effort from the nine hole and was used early on, but still was coming down the lane to finish third versus this guy. Could beat this crew and break its maiden with a good steer and hopefully won't be bet down. In race 11, I'm going to finish up with two. The one horse is play to rock, nine to two. Rolled the back half in 56 seconds to sweep by down the lane. Takes on some older foes, but there's no one here to fear. Doesn't have big gate speed, so Franco will need to find some live cover like last time. The six, Street Boy, six to one in the program, parked the mile in last, and has had excuses in the three races at this level. But may have met a beatable field now. Many are moving up, and no one has a win at this level. Bait should work a better trip this time, and can be in the mix at the wire. The 50 cent ticket reads, three, four, five, with five, six, seven, with one, two, six, with one, six, for $27, and good luck.